Everyone is talking about finding your online business niche and the importance of your niche. But exactly why do you need a niche for your online business? How can you find your niche in the big ocean of potential online business ideas and directions? Let's have a look at exactly what the hype is all about. When you're considering starting an online business and embarking on your journey as an entrepreneur, it is crucial that you put in the time to specify your specific niche. Here are the three main reasons why it's important for you to know exactly what your niche is. Reason number one is that you can hone in on helping your target audience. Before we jump in, I do want to emphasize that yes, you need to think about what kind of online business niche you need to set yourself apart from everyone else. But ultimately, it's about your audience. Having a niche is about you helping your audience, building that relationship and solving their problems. You're in this niche because you can use your zone of genius, your experiences, your skills, and your knowledge to help others that are having problems related to this area. When you have your online business niche, you know exactly who you're talking to, the voice you need to use to speak with them, and the best possible way to help them. Understanding your target audience completely can help you focus your advertising and marketing initiatives to make sure that you can better serve them. Another reason why online business niche is so important is that you can establish yourself as an expert. Defining a specific online business niche can help you build credibility. When you provide value and content in a specific topic, you can become recognized for that specific type of products or service. When you narrow down, your customers are more likely to remember what you excel in. They will be more likely to refer you to others who are trying to find what you're offering. If you spread yourself too thin and try to be everything for everyone, you're serving no one. Another reason why you need a niche is so that you can build strong relationships. Defining a specific online business niche can help you build credibility. When you provide value and content in a specific topic, you can become recognized for that specific knowledge. Okay, let's talk about how to find your online business niche. There are billions of websites on the internet currently, but unfortunately, not all of them are making money. If you want to be successful as an entrepreneur and make money from the content that you create, then you have to focus on one niche. Here are some tips to help you find your online business niche. First, think about what you like. Ultimately, you can't get into something you have no interest in. You might be spending the next few years or even longer working in this field. You don't want to stress yourself out doing something you're not passionate about. The first thing that you should do is write down a list of all the ideas and concepts you have for what you can offer. List anything and everything that comes to mind. Then think about what you're good at. Don't be shy. Dig deep and think about what you're good at. It can be anything. If you're an animal lover, maybe you can get into a niche about animals. If you like hiking or the outdoors, maybe you can share tips on hiking and share about your favorite camping sites. If you're passionate about knitting, you can teach others how to knit. If you're not quite sure, then think about what kind of problems people come to you for. Maybe people come to you for relationship advice, travel recommendations, assistance with certain aspects of life. You might be able to turn these into your niche. Another tip for finding your online business niche is to check online forums. There are so many different platforms where people go passionately discuss what they like. You can use these platforms to find out whether or not your niche has an audience. Reddit is a great place to test your niche. It's an online forum featuring thousands of topics. You can find communities built around every single subject from entrepreneurship to dog training to jokes. Using Reddit to find a niche is easy. You can start with a bigger idea of what you're interested in, then go into the relevant subreddits. You can check the threads that people have created to see what people are discussing about to check if the niche you have selected is interesting to others. Another tip is to use Google Trends. You can use Google Trends to see what people are looking for and searching for, whether or not your niche has steady searches, a declining or increasing interest. Plus, Google provides users with tools that allow them to compare different keywords and provide geographic location where the search volume for a topic is higher. This information can help you find your target audience. Another tip is to use social media. You can use Pinterest to see what people are pinning the most and look at other people's boards to find untapped markets. You can use Facebook groups to find different topics and communities. It's also important to ask yourself the right questions. Think about how you can use your experiences and knowledge to add value to your target audience's lives. How can you help them by solving their pain points? Think about your accomplishments and unique skills to help you determine your niche. 
Is your online business niche a lucrative niche? Will people spend money on your services? There are hundreds of niches around that you can choose from, but not all of the niches pay. Check how other businesses in your niche are generating income and think about what you can do too. If the niche that you have chosen doesn't seem to be monetized, then you might need to reconsider if that's the right niche for you. Let me jump on my computer quickly and show you exactly how you can find your niche through different online platforms. All right, let's look for a niche together by following the five steps. So step number one is figuring out what do you like. So for the sake of this demonstration, let's say I like food and cooking, which is actually true. And then we've got step number two, which is what are you good at? I, I'd say I'm pretty good at cooking, so let's go with that. But the topics food and cooking is quite broad, so let's try to niche down a little bit. Maybe we can think about a certain cuisine, like um, for example, I can say Japanese food since I'm in Japan right now. I would say I'm good at cooking Japanese food. And step number three is checking online forums. I have Reddit open right now, so let's have a look and type in, for example, Japanese food and see what comes up. All right, so now we're at Japanese food. Um, ooh, ramen. Ramen is definitely a good one. Um, sushi, meboshi. Oh, another ramen one. That looks amazing. Ah, ramen again. All right, okay. So let's go back up. And what you can do at Reddit is check top. So you can see the trends. For example, let's say for the last year, which are the posts are doing the best in the last year in this subreddit. Okay, um, what is this? Oh, my first tonkotsu ramen. So, a homemade ramen, that's a great one. And as you can see, it has a lot of upvotes and 42 comments. So it can, it's definitely interesting to people. All right, so what I can do now is go into, for example, ramen. 265,000 members, so that's quite a lot. Oh, and again, we see homemade ramen. Uh, Again, people are making ramen, which makes sense um, since it's during COVID right now. I would assume that people are mainly cooking at home. This is making me very hungry. All right, okay. So now we've got ramen. So let's see what kind of... Oh, ramen recipes. Okay, so that's definitely one that we can look into. Homemade miso and tahini ramen. That looks amazing. Okay, so... We can decide kind of that ramen has quite a bit of following and ramen recipes as well have a lot of attention. So we can have a look at Quora and see ramen. We can look up either ramen or ramen recipes. Home, what is the best homemade ramen recipe for when you have noodles but no seasoning? Well, that's actually a really good idea. Um, because unless you live in Japan, I would assume that you wouldn't be able to get a lot of the seasonings that you'd be able to find in authentic ramen. Or maybe it's quite difficult and expensive. Do you have a good recipe for vegetarian ramen? I think that's a great one that we can definitely incorporate if we're going to have a blog or a website and focus on the niche of ramen recipes or ramen cooking. So let's go on Google Trends. So what you could do is go here. Let's say you want to focus on uh, United States for now. Um, and then you can type ramen, say ramen recipes. Recipe. All right. So for the past year, let's see how the trend's doing. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, by the way, so for Google Trends, actually the scale over here, it's not um, the 100 doesn't mean that it's 100 million or 100,000. It's just relative, so it's more like a percentage. Definitely, there are people searching for it. Again, you can check different um, countries over here. You can do worldwide. And let's see. It's also beneficial to see which countries are searching for these terms the most. So here we've got Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and UK. So if you were to do any targeting ads, um, then you would know that these countries probably are great to target. Um, all right, so this is for Google Trends. And then we can have a look at number, step number five is social media. 
All right, let's have a look at Pinterest. So on Pinterest, a good thing is that besides finding your niche and your audience, you can also see what kind of topics people are interested in. So for example, let's type in ramen recipes. And you can see right here, ramen recipes easy, authentic, vegetarian. And we've seen vegetarian twice now, so that must be a good niche. If we want to, we can definitely niche down to doing um, vegetarian ramen recipes and they've got veg uh, ramen recipes chicken video spicy beef okay so let's just type in ramen recipe for now and see what comes up oh nice so there are quite a lot of different um, websites that are doing ramen related content so let's see mm, five ramen recipes using ingredients you have at home that's a great idea vegan ramen which is also amazing so another great thing is over here, these are all search um, search terms that people use on Pinterest. So they display that. So you can definitely note them down for um, niching down even further. So like I said before, we can do vegetarian. Um, that's one of the top searches. And easy ramen recipe. We can definitely branch off and doing ramen recipe as a niche. And then sub niche, you can do vegan ramen, vegetarian ramen, for the simplest ways to making ramen at home. So now we can check Facebook group. All right, so we can go to Facebook groups and type in, for example, Japanese food, Japanese home-cooked food and bento boxes, Japanese food and recipes, vegan Japan, Japanese cooking. They all sound great. So look, there are 138,000 members in this one. I'm not currently part of this group, but it is public, so I can see what is inside. So we can try to search here. This is a really useful function to try to find niche and questions and problems that your target audience might have. So let's type, oops, ramen recipes. All right, so let's have a look. This is a recipe for a creamy miso ramen, spicy and creamy miso ramen. So you can tell that people are definitely interested in looking and checking different ramen recipes. You can definitely take more time and look into this. I'm not going to waste your time and sit here and show you more ramen photos and make you hungry. Um, so we can tell that uh, there is definitely a demand for ramen recipes and Japanese food recipes or maybe even niching down further and do vegan or vegetarian ramen recipes. Another question we should be asking ourselves is, is this niche lucrative? And the answer is yes, it should be quite lucrative. With food blogs and recipe websites, you can definitely do displayed advertisement. Um, you can also do sponsored posts where uh, a company could pay you to talk about a particular product. Um, you can also do affiliate marketing where you can talk about, for example, uh, top five ingredients to have in your ramen or um, you can do, for example, what's the best container or the best pot, I guess, the best pot to cook your ramen in and put in affiliate links in there. So there's definitely potential in this niche. Use these tips to help you get started with your online business niche. Once you determine your niche, don't hold back. Put all you have into creating high quality content for your audience and begin to earn a living online. Discovering your niche is just the first step to running a successful online business, but it's one of the most important steps to help you become a successful entrepreneur. Stay tuned for more videos about online business and I'll see you next week.